birthday to you. <laughs> Someone's birthday today. Yes. Welcome back to the channel, by the way. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> I just had to sing to my husband because it is his birthday today. Yeah, getting on. Grand old age of 36. Heading towards 40 before you know it. Oh, <laughs> deary me. Don't look it, does he? Yeah. So welcome back to the channel. Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, we've got an exciting day for you today. Yes, so we're going back to London. Um, and today the plan is to go to Cold Drops Yard, which mm -hmm. has been, which used to be like a warehouse thing by the canal and the railway station. It's been now fitted out with street food and markets and a couple of shops and bits and bobs. Been renovated quite recently um, behind King's Cross Station. So we're going to go and check it out, see what it has to offer. I know there's a lot of shops, a lot of eateries, a lot mm -hmm. of just places to potter about around the canal, like Adam said. So we're going to go and have a look. There will be rain. Yes, yeah, so it looks like it's going to rain a little bit. So we don't know how long for, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, we do also have a couple of extra London things coming up as well. Um, after this, we're going to be doing uh, Mayfair, which is the Mercato Mayfair. Mercato Mayfair, which is the deconsecrated church is now all street food so that'll be a separate video and then we're also doing a separate video on Notting Hill as well for the first time we've never been there we've always wanted to go been. we're going on a Saturday it's gonna be busy yes yeah, so we've got like, Portobello market and all that kind of stuff looking forward to it actually yeah. I'm excited so we've got a few London videos on the way but the first one is this one which is Cold Drops Yard before we begin don't forget to like subscribe share ding that notification bell make sure you check out all of our other London content and keep a lookout for all the other London content so we've got that choo-choo to catch, so we better get on down mm. to London Town. Before we begin this video, guys, we want to show you a new venture for Mason Memories. Yeah, so we decided to do something where we're going to open up a little shop on Buy Me A Coffee. As you see, we're on Buy Me A Coffee already, uh, but they've got a shop section now. Uh, so we're going to look at potentially putting some merchandise and some bits and bobs out there, uh, mm. starting with uh, some downloadable PDFs of tips and tricks on certain places that we've been. Uh, we're going to do London first, it's going to be like an ultimate guide to London and then we're going to have other ones coming at different points with different things in London for different cities that we've been to like York or Bath and so on and so forth and yeah. essentially give you the best you can do and you can download the PDF so you can have that for yourself. We're also potentially looking at merchandise at some point as well. What would you guys like? I think I know what I want to do. We're thinking potentially stickers, which is a nice easy one, and then tea towels and magnets. magnets. The because, staple of a holiday. Because we always get them on holiday. So we're going to look at that. We don't know when these things are coming, but just keep a look out on the uh, Buy Me Coffee Shop. The link will be in the description of every single video from here on out. Just keep an eye on it and at some point there will be some merchandise for you to purchase. All money that we do make from Buy Me A Coffee, including the new venture that we're going down with the, the download of all PDFs, the merchandise will go straight back into the channel to help us keep coming with that content. Anyway, back to the video. Right. We are here. I'm really um, impressed by it by the start of it. Yeah, I mean, you don't need to take the underground once you get to Euston. You just walk up to King's Cross and St Pancras and then walk up again and you'll find it. It's literally like a 10 minute walk, not even that. If you can hear that in the background, that's because the Paralympics is on the big screen um, by, the right, by the canal. So yeah, you will have that in the background. We're going to have a wander around and see what it's got, but it looks really cool. It's a bit mizzly today bit in the mizzle, city. But it's a bit muggy still. Oh yeah, it's muggy, muggy. Yeah. So yeah, we don't know what it's got, like it's got food, it's got market stalls and whatnot, but it's just a cool place that's just been refitted. It used to be warehouses by the canals and railways and stuff. So I think it's just the, his yeah, the historic um, significance of it. They haven't knocked it down, they've repurposed it and that's yeah. what we enjoy. So we're just going to have a look around at the architecture. Yeah, so let's get going.
we were just having a look at places where we were going to go for breakfast, but we're not really hungry. Yeah. Um, we are having food, do not worry, but just not yet. And uh, it's all sort of things. Yeah. We didn't know if it was, so we had to look at it to make sure. But we saw the comedian Stuart Lee, for anyone that knows, is a, a bit of an older generation comedian, more of a kind of serious and stern kind of Jack D kind of comedian. Yeah. I was always quite a funny guy. He's just sitting having just a coffee. Sitting having his breakfast. I was like, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Stuart Lee. I'm gonna have to Google it. I was like, I'm looking at like the chin definition and like, his like, nose. And nose, like, yeah, I think that's him. That's him. Just sitting there chilling, having breakfast. And you try and not be rude, but you're like, yeah, like, a little stir. <laughs> Arches of um, what I imagine would have been the old railway station that came in for the coal, all retrofitted with shops and coffee places and food and eateries and whatnot. So that coal drop thing goes all the way down there. So I do generally think one of our favourite things is the fact that old meets new. Yes. Yeah. They've in, done it really well, actually. Yeah, they have. Like the industrialness of it, they've kept like the industrial nature of it, but then just retrofitted it with some up-to-date new things. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I think from what I've seen before, the shops here, as in the retail, not food, but the retail, it's quite upmarket. Possibly. Um, we haven't come here for shopping, it's the same as when we went to the Batsy Power Station. We weren't going for the shopping, we were going for the architecture. Yeah. And that's another place that has done it to a T, like really good. And it's got a good feel, it's nice and empty, Yeah, it's early. not that busy, yeah. So you can really get a feel for it and have a look without being pushed around. <laughs> it's nice. Bit of history, is there a bit of history? There is a bit of history, yeah. So this would have been the I imagine this would have been the point where they ship the coal from from yeah, the canals to the, the trains. It's the transfer point. So yeah, come out here and there you go, it's the canal. Which I think if you start heading that way, you'll head to Camden. I think so, yeah. We are in the borough of Camden, yeah. which I didn't so realise. Camden Town, Camden Market and all that kind of stuff. This is the Regency Canal. It's supposed to be a beautiful walk. Yeah, I think it's something we'll look at doing in the future. Yeah, maybe next it's summer nice, or something. It's it's a nice spring, nice walk. not summer. Yeah. I don't want to be sweaty. No. Beatrix's uh, shop. Who's? Beatrix's. Beatrix? What are you about? Lestrange? Belltrix. Oh, be oh, Bellatrix, not. Bellatrix. <laughs> You're thinking Beatrix Potter. <laughs> Beatrix Potter. It's Potter. Potter. It's Bella's choice. I mean, there's a, there's a connection, but no. <laughs> oh, that fell flat, didn't it? <laughs> I tried to do a funny. <laughs> it's very rare in London is there's plenty of public toilets so there's some upstairs then if you turn around there's some through that bit there sorry for all the uh, sounds in the background they're uh, setting up for the day setting up because we are quite early and um, but yeah there's plenty of public toilets so that's a good thing yeah don't don't worry the about one it thing I think is, a, is um, a negative for Camden I think there's only one public toilet area I can't even remember the public toilet. Oh, there is one. There is, yes, and it was 50p to get in. No, was it a pound to I, get I in? I don't know, but it was, it was just the one at any It was the place. upstairs, weren't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a commodity in, in London, the public toilets, and you can't go in places unless you 
buy something, um, which is, uh, I suppose, understandable, but at the end of the day, if you need a wee, you need a bloody wee, don't you? Oh my god, loads of plants. They will not survive our trip in London. So here you've got a thing called the Drop, which is a wine bar and restaurant. Obviously not currently open because it's still early. This is cute. But it goes all the way back there. That's another restaurant. Oh, is it a different one? Yeah. Oh yeah. This is beautiful. It's cool, isn't it? Just imagine what all this would have been if it didn't bother retrofitting it. But it would have been an empty husk. Hmm? Say now, it would have been just an empty husk if they didn't refit oh, it and yeah. what they've done with it. Flagship Samson store. How is it? Yeah. Mm. It is nice to have a little bit of music. Yeah, it's nice and it's but relaxing. But it's not—it's not good for vlogging though, because we have to talk over it. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it is. That is the only downside. <laughs> That's not us. I don't know what it is. Where's bought? Yeah, little place called Kitchen Provisions behind so us. So cute in there. I think it's very aimed at like Asian cooking and the Asian kitchen. They have some beautiful knives in there and, and kitchenware, very upmarket. But oh, she's wrapped it so nice. Look, you get a little 
it was sticking. I'm gonna show you guys. Oh no! Gently now. So with this, I'm gonna get a little frame and I'm gonna put it in the kitchen because I just think it's so cute. <laughs> Little cat with sushi. Little cat with sushi. So <laughs> that was three pounds. So yeah, I suppose quite expensive for a little postcard. And then you've already seen this, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna unravel it. This is the Chef's, Chef's Kiss, Kiss. Uh, barbecue marinade. I sauce. mean, it was a little bit expensive, but we just couldn't deny that. Mm, Seven pounds. Yeah. So that and the postcard, ten pounds. If you've got a ten pound budget, there you go. It's a couple of little things for you. So yeah, another street food marketplace. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're everywhere. We need to do like all of them in London. Yeah, no, there's quite a lot. It will take a lot of time. Oh, professional. Oh, professional on the wings. They're going for it. They're going for it. Professionalism. You get that shot, son. You get it. <laughs> because birthday boy was getting hungry. So we had a four cheese toasty, a bottle of cola, and a flat white from Mare Street Market. It's the little coffee shop in there. Yeah. Um, very nice. Yeah. Um, not as good as the one at Borough Market, guys. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not as good. The cheese toasty there was just amazing. But um, it was still really good though. It was um, very good. Nice, nice, nice cheese pull. Uh, there's onions in there, had kind of like a sweet slash tang to them. Yeah, it was. It was lovely. And uh, I managed to get the cola that I had in Norwich, the Fritz Cola Yeah, the really good cola. Yeah, it was only £2. I thought yeah. that was quite good. Oh, it's the water going off. It's not me weeing. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to give that a 4 out of 5. It was a nice, nice little, nice little cho toasty pickup. Yeah, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. It, it's quite expensive, but I suppose we're in the centre of London. Um, £14 for a coffee, uh, a cola and a cheese toast. Yeah. So yeah, we keep wandering around. There is the thingy behind us there. The gasworks. It's like the gasworks thing that they've turned into like a garden or something like that underneath one of them. Yeah. So we're gonna have a little wander down there and see if we can have a look at that. Yes. So yeah, next to Coal Drops Yard is uh, obviously the gas things and the garden one is over there which we'll go to in due course. But these ones have all been converted into apartments, which I can imagine cost a pretty penny. So as you can hear, there are kids because there's a playground around here somewhere, I think. But that in front of us is a, like a garden type thing. So yeah, garden things in there, which we're going to pop into in a moment. But uh, yeah, that's the kids' school, which is why you can hear them screaming on the other side of that wall. We've got a train going by as well. This is supposed to be a nice, quiet reflection area. Can't really do that when the kids are screaming. <laughs> so all these are obviously reflected and mirror based. So you can, you can, when you got your side eye on, you keep thinking there's someone beside you as you walk by, <laughs> and there isn't. As you 
come away from it. And the screaming children come down to the canal again. Oh, let me drop. And again. And there you go, come out onto the canal. Star going in, St. Pancras. Oh, is it out? Yeah, it's right. Oh, oh, was it? Oh, okay. I thought it was there. Uh... Oh, yeah, so it is. It's over there. Yeah, they go in France. Yeah, you can see that, guys. Isn't it? That is a massive eel just in the lock. Oh! <laughs> there he goes. So I walked up the other side of the canal, and we've come out above, up top. There we go. Where we were earlier. I'm starting to fill out now, a few more people. Just starting to get a vibe. Friday vibe. So brilliant. Looks like a pretty chill vibe restaurant. Tattoo shop. So they got jewellery and tattoos and stuff. Sacred gold. Plenty of places for your weird and wonderful plants. One thing we have definitely noticed, guys, that this seems to be a content dream. Yeah, I don't know if it's because it's quite new, I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. But yeah, we've already seen, I think it's the third camera now we've seen. Like pro professional. professional camera being set up. This place has got some chill vibes. This is it's very relaxing. Yeah. But it's it's been out now, there's a few more people out with them, but it's just no one's in a rush. No. Nothing's mad. Nothing's there's no the rude crowded. people, there's no yobs. <laughs> yobs. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? It's given it is giving me Battersea vibes of how chill and just Yeah. And it's not it's not as upmarket as Battersea, but No. Still it's I really like it. Coming across where we were first thing. So we've got a couple more bits here. It's meant to be a market around here, but we haven't spotted it yet. And um, I don't know whether it's on today or not. But, I mean, this this is definitely a cool place to come, guys. You want to get some food, check out some shops. 
just chill really it's actually quite decent yeah there's a lot of upmarket ones here but still better than just popping to Primark <laughs> where's she gone where's she gone she's left me she's disappeared where is she be there she is there she is but you bloody left me then hmm? but you bloody left me <laughs> what your birthday turn around you were gone <laughs> gone <laughs> Uh, this bit is the coal office, which looks like a, is it fine dining or is it bistro dining? I don't know, they've got loads of pickles in there. Mm. Um, yeah, it looks it's basically a restaurant. So I'm assuming the fact that it's called coal office was obviously the headquarters for the coal drop yard where all the paperwork and shit was signed. I think now we are going to head down to where those lights are and see what's going on down there. So by the looks of it, where the lights are, that's where you're going to find a lot of market stuff. I think it's mainly probably street food and that, but which was it? Is this where the market is? <laughs> I literally just said that. Wow. Oh. Yes, yeah, you just said <laughs> There's also a craft beer store yeah. for anyone that is interested. Also, guys, we've got a record shop as well. It's more like a record shop. It's like all old scars, dude. Station. Yeah, on air at oh, the yeah, cool. There you go. It's a radio station, that's cool. Literally on the air as we speak. Yeah, we've just uh, walked through that under bit, hmm. and yeah, it's really cool. So it's, the, it's basically where the lights are. Like, I think it's the only place that has those lights up top. Yeah. But yeah, so basically just loads of little street food, little cast, couple of quick little places, record shop, radio station. Yeah, little radio station. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on down there, so maybe, uh, maybe a future video. Yeah, only on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. Yes. But yeah, that's definitely a cool part of Co Coal Drops Yard. You are going to say Cox's Yard, Cox's weren't you? Yard. <laughs> Get onto the cock. Yeah. I don't know, it looks like a record shop. I think it is. But it's also a cafe and looks like it's got cocktails and beers and stuff as well. Mm. Dish room. It's supposed to be very good. Apparently it's supposed to be really nice. Indian restaurant. Is it Indian restaurant? Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea what it is, but Sarah does. Yeah, they're all over dotted all over London and I think there's a couple like one in Manchester, one in Liverpool. Hmm.
They've got little things, things on. on. Uh, oh. and, and it's gone. <laughs> Didn't want to look at it anyway. Go fuck myself. <laughs> oh wow. And it was like Granary Square. Right, so just obviously off from Coal Drops Yard is Granary Square. And looks like we're gonna have a little pop inside. I oh, know. We're inside Granary Square. However, it's not as cool as Coal Drops Yard. No, but I, 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 I don't exactly know what there. this is. Yeah, I mean, it's I imagine the they just way. on the end. That used to be the... Yeah, pretty cool. But Coal Drops is better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we just come out of Grandaloo Square and just to the left of it, there's an entire food court full of street food. Oh my God. God. Absolutely full of it. Look at all that. Jesus. There's loads. Didn't know it was didn't in. know this was here. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, I think we'll come back and do a specific cold drop street food what thing. And just eat, eat our way through all of this. Because there's, there's loads. And there's a little sausage dog. <laughs> Churros. Oh, I've got an oyster bar. Sours. <laughs> DL. There's loads. Honestly, guys, we did not know this was here. If so, we could have factored this in. Oh, cheesy lamb kebab roll. Onion barges. Juice. Maybe this is the market they're talking about. Maybe. Yeah, there's a little, few little shops here as well, guys. Oh, I mean, and it is completely covered as well, so even on a rainy day, you hold them. Sauces and spreads and gems and marmalade and stuff like that. Hi guys. Look how cool those shoes are. Hi, are you alright? For all you posh bitches out there, there's always a way, Tros. If you can't be asked to part with your cash with some other little stalls like this, and you want to stick to a sandwich. Waitrose. <laughs> a, a packet sandwich. <laughs> Japanese fried chicken. Oh. Very cool. All the way back round to where we started this morning. There is so much here to do, guys. If you really wanted to take your time, have a full day here. Yeah, I mean, we've just done a little taste. I definitely want to come back. I want to try the bars. I want to try, obviously, the market. Yeah. Yeah, it's brilliant round here. Mm. That's our, I say whistle stop tour of Cold Drops Yard, Granary Square. Basically, the whole development of King's Cross, really. Yeah. Um, because it did used to be a right dive. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really seeing some old pictures when we were researching this place, and it really was a mess around here. But what they, what a transformation! Yeah, it's Just this industrial feel with all this new shops and eateries and everything. It's a full-on place, and I can see right now. So many people walking around. It's really chill. Yeah, but it's not. It's not overcrowded. It's not like Camden or anything like that. 
Um, yeah, I think it's quite an underrated gem. I, I think we definitely want to come back here and do like some street food and that in the future. So you know, future video. Yeah, and some, bars. Yeah, We've got some nice bars around so here. I think we're well. going to try and make like a street food vlog at some point for it. Yeah, so stay but tuned, guys. I highly, highly recommend this place. Hundred percent. It's yeah. really cool. Like just to wander around. Literally, get off at Euston. It's a ten minute walk. No tubes. Nothing like that. If you wanted to come down, literally for like an afternoon or something. If you wanted an afternoon out from rugby. Yeah. Come on the train, do a day here, back on the train, no tubes, nothing. Right, so yeah, that is our full video for Cold Drops Yard. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. I hope we give you a good kind of overlook of what it's like. Um, so make sure that you like, subscribe, share, ding your notification bell, and check out all of our Inner London content. Find us on all the socials and find us on... Tiki Toki. And also... Buy me a coffee. And if we don't see you before... We'll see you after, guys. Bye. Take care. Oh,